Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage. Thanks for joining us for another live video on Facebook and YouTube. Today we're going to go over mix ratios, we're going to explain them, and we're going to show you how you can get an exact and precise ratio using mixing cups. It may sound simple, but, and it is, it should be, but we're going to show you exactly how to use them and why you need them. Plus we're going to go over port lids, we're going to show you a couple paint guns, a masking station, and we're even going to explain why this truck is sitting behind me. Now, as always, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to post them in the comment and in the comment section on Facebook and YouTube. Scotty C's over here. If you can see him, nice shirt, Scott. Yeah, stand up for your fans. Let them get a good look. Let them breathe it in. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you have any questions or comments, all you got to do is post them. Scott's going to ans uh, answer them. If it's something I can answer here or uh, demonstrate, I'll take care of it. So first thing, if you're mixing paint, that probably means you're going to be pouring paint out of a gallon like this. Now we've all done it, and what happens? You end up with the paint all around the lip, you end up with a mess everywhere. Well, you might want to go to Eastwood and check out these port lids. Joe, are you in here on it? Good? All right, so it's real simple. You just take the lid, push it down on, it seals tight. And now, when you want to pour, you, you pour out of here, set it back down, it's sealed back up, and you don't have any mess at all. In fact, we even have them for quartz too. So <clears throat> no matter what size can you're using, we're gonna have a port lid for it. That's something that makes it, makes it really nice uh, when you're mixing paint. So speaking of mixing paint, let's get into mix ratios. Let's jump right into it. So <clears throat> I'm using this gallon jug because it's easy for demonstration purposes because it's, it's gonna be really easy to see. We've got pints and quartz. We've got about all sizes you're gonna need. If you visit Eastwood, we sell them in kits and everything. A lot of you are gonna be using quartz. Uh, and we, we sell them as well. So let's get right into it. Now, these mixing cups are have about every ratio you want. If we if we can if we're going to cut in here, okay. So there's a two to one to one, three to one to one. Now that means say three to one to one, which is what we're going to end up using. That simply means three parts paint, one part activator, one part reducer. Now, if you're not using a reducer, you can totally forget about this and you'll just use the three to one column. And it, and it has four to one, to one, five, six, and eight. And around here is, is just your standard measurements in ounces and milliliters. So say you wanted to mix 96 ounces, and say you had one to one ratio. You just pour up to 48, and then add your activator up here to 96. Now if it's something beyond that, <clears throat> you can use uh, one of the charts I just showed you. So, Joe, you can, First, I'll show you what we're going to be mixing if we can cut to Joe here. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be mixing an Eastwood single stage urethane, which is a three to one ratio, which is three parts paint, one part activator. Now, some people are going to want to add a reducer. So that's how you end up with your three to one to one because you would add this also at one part. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go three parts paint, one part activator, and we're also going to add a reducer to show you a three to one to one ratio. <clears throat> now, if we come back here, to our, to our large mixing cup. Now say I decide I want to mix about 96 ounces. So what I do is, okay, I take the 96 ounces right here and I would spin around the cup until I come to my three to one to one, right? So 96 ounces puts me right there. Now you can see where that's at. It's somewhere between this two and this three. <clears throat> Am I good here? Okay, now somewhere between the two and the three. Now remember, these numbers here are not units of volume. They're not units of measurement. It's, it just helps us with the ratio. So don't think, yeah, we're going to mix about 96 ounces. We're not mixing exactly 96 ounces. Um, and these cups are just going to help with the ratio. So when we're mixing, try not, don't think that we're mixing, you know, like 30 ounces of this, 10, 10. Um, we're just going for about 96. So we could mix a little more and use this th and use this three, or we could mix a little less and use this two. Now the 96 puts us a little closer to the two, so I'm going to mix a little less and use this two. So what that means is, and the reason I'm all the way over here under this column is because I'm using three things. So by the time I add the reducer, I want to be over here. So I would add the paint, add the activator, and add the reducer. So the final tally, I want to be right about here, which puts us at this two. So <clears throat> the first thing I would do is I'm going to add 
I'm going to add the paint to the first two. So this two is just the columns that we're going to use now. I'll go to the first two. Then I'll add the activator, which goes from there to there. Then I'm going to add the reducer from there to there. So remember, it's a three to one to one. So the first one is three parts. And this ratio is just one third of this ratio. And this ratio, again, is just one third, three to one to one. If we want to mix more, you would just use one of the other ones. So <clears throat> we could get, now you may ask why you would want to do this over just cups. It's because it's very accurate or a mixing stick. A lot of times you'd use a mixing stick. And what happens is, is that the cups, your, your bucket or whatever you're mixing in, it may be tapered like this. So if you're using a stick that has the measurements on it, it's based on a perfect cylinder. So when you stick it in, it, it, it doesn't know it gets bigger. So your ratio is going to be way off because the cup grows. It's, it's not an accurate, it, it's not an, it won't be an accurate ratio anymore because the cup's bigger and the stick's based on it being uh, a perfect cylinder where these come in, it's all that mass already done for you. So you're going to get a perfect ratio every time because it's built into the bucket. So the first thing we're going to do here, if we cut back, if we can cut back to this close up of the bucket is I'm going to add the paint up to the first two. Because again, we're mixing three to one to one. So you see, I'm getting close. So, as you can see right here, I'm in the three column, and I'm using the twos because I want to end up here. After I add all three uh, parts, the paint, the activator, and the reducer, I want to end up there. So my first one was three parts paint, so I went to that two. Now I'm going to go to the next two with, with the activator. So now I'm going to add the activator up to that two. So now you can see, so now we, have the, um, now we have the paint and we have the activator. So if that's all we needed, if we were only using a three to one ratio, if we, if we only needed the paint and the activator, we'd be done. We could mix this up and, uh, and we could go paint. But because we also need a reducer, we're gonna go to right there. So now we add the reducer. And there we go, we have a perfect three to one to one ratio of paint, activator, and reducer. So <clears throat> before, we get into, before we get into the paint guns and some other stuff around here, Scott, do we have any questions or how are we making out here? So far you've been explaining it really well. Um, you've knocked it out of the park and keep Thank on you. cruising. I've been, I've been practicing this for about three weeks. You can tell. So, so, I don't <laughs> so anyways, let's check, let's, check out the, let's check out the paint guns. Um, if you're looking, if you're getting started into painting, or if you're just looking for another gun to spray some base clear, uh, you want to check out this Concourse LT. It's a nice gun, great price. Comes with a 1.3 needle nozzle, so it's good for spraying your bases and clears. You can um, get other needle nozzles from Eastwood if you want to spray your primers. Ah, but over here, let's check it out, Joe, if you can get in here. The Coup de Gras, the Concourse Pro two gun set. Um, really nice set. I actually have this gun. Um, sprays really nice. The, it, it comes with a regular gun and a detail gun, which is really nice to have in hard to reach areas. The detail gun comes with a 1.0 needle nozzle, and the Concourse Pro comes with a 1.3, a 1.7, and a 2.0. So you're going to be able to spray everything from your primers all the way up to your base and clear coats. So this kit is going to allow you to pretty much spray everything you need on your car. Plus it comes with a regulator and it comes with your cups. And right here in this box is a cleaning kit and your gun wrench. So if you're looking for your first, uh, your first HVLP paint gun set, this is a great set. And if you're just looking to upgrade, again, it's a great set because it's got everything you need to spray from base to clear and primers. So now that we got through that, let's check out, oh, let's check out our masking station. So. After I already was set up, I realized I should have I should have thrown a tip at you guys, but I kind of ran out of time because we were scheduled to go live at three. If you've never seen one of these masking trees, masking stations, they're really nice. Um, we sell a smaller version, and if you're watching this live, you might want to go to Eastwood.com and check out our daily deal because 
Uh, every day we pick out a product and we give you 10% off and free shipping on a product. So if you go to eastwood.com, um, make it part of your daily schedule in the morning. You, you go and check it out, go see what products we have. And I believe today we have a small masking station which holds uh, one size paper and it's like a stool. It's, 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 it's pretty nice. And I think that might be our daily deal today. So if you're watching this live today only, don't try calling in three weeks from now and telling our customer service department that I told you you get a great deal on it then. You got to do it today. But anyways, the way it works is it automatically puts on the tape. So the masking tape's here, the paper's here. So you pull out what you need and you rip it off. And the reason I said uh, I remember this was because a lot of times if I, if I was going to paint, the first thing I would do is I'd rip off a few feet of that and I would put it down here wherever I'm working. So I'd put down one row of this where I'm working because it's really nice to work on if you're mixing paint and everything else because if you spill it when you're done, you just ball it up and you throw it away and it keeps your workstation nice and clean for the next time. So one last thing. All you people, you probably want to know what this truck is behind me. The truck behind me, it just arrived. I believe it's a 50 Chevy. If somebody out there really knows their trucks and tells me it's a 51, I might believe you. But the reason it's here, Andy, one of our product engineers, you've seen him in some videos, some of our welding videos, he just got it, he brought it in, we pushed it into the garage today, but tomorrow we're pushing it outside and we're going to strip it with our Contour SCT. Uh, new product, brand new, Eastwood exclusive, and incredibly pop popular. If you would have saw um, Empire Fabrication posted uh, on Facebook, them using it a couple weeks ago, 640, 650,000 views, about 1,200 comments. So it's a really popular product. And tomorrow we're going to strip this, and you're going to get to see it live, maybe for a while, maybe a few times. Um, I don't know exactly what time we're going to go live at, but make sure you check out eastwood.com. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you follow us on Facebook. So when we go live, you're going to see us in action. So Andy and Ryan, um, who you've also seen a lot of our videos, they're going to be taking turns stripping this whole thing. Their plan is to strip this entire truck tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day here in Pottstown. So if you want to see it live for a little bit, see this in action, uh, make sure you check us out uh, tomorrow on YouTube, Facebook, or just visit eastwood.com. There'll be a banner. There should be a banner there uh, letting you know where the video is at. Well, are there any other questions? I did a good job today. Yeah, you did. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Scott. So make sure you, uh, you, you tune in next week. We've got uh, live videos, three live videos next week. We're coming at you Monday morning, Tuesday afternoon, and Wednesday morning. So our schedule is a little different uh, next week with Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, so just make sure you follow us and subscribe to us and check us out next week. And don't forget to go to eastwood.com for our daily deal or to get your mixing cups and make your, your painting a lot easier. Well, take care. See you next week. Actually, maybe I'll see them tomorrow.